this video, we're doing something fun and different, and we're going to be DMing our friendships over on Instagram and sending them a little bookish gift. So make sure you subscribe because there's new videos every single day for this entire week, and I hope you guys enjoy. I've decided on a fun little challenge. It's something different, and I know you guys love it whenever I do like different things on this channel. So we are going to be DMing my friendships and buying them books so i always say friendships because the word followers just feels so weird to me like you know it's like i follow my friends on like instagram and like tiktok and stuff and like if they ever referred to me as like a follower like oh yeah she's my follower like that just feels so weird to me so i feel like friendships just like is a better fit like a better name um i don't know if i'm gonna title this video like dming my followers or not um i feel like friendships makes more sense but i just don't know if like people would recognize like what i'm talking about when i say that um but i think it'll be really fun to do that because i haven't seen anyone do that before i've seen people dm their followers and ask them for like book recommendations and i've also seen people who have done like um shopping in like barns and like buying random strangers uh like books and stuff so i kind of wanted to combine combine those two ideas because i've never seen anyone dm their friendships and buy the book so we're gonna do that um i'm gonna go into a coffee shop and i think we're gonna pick um just like randomly some of the friendships in there i think the way i'm going to do it is uh look through my like archive stories and see the people who have um shared like that they've watched the videos on their stories so i think that that's the easiest way to like get in contact with um like I don't know, people. I actually did a giveaway a couple years ago for a book miss and I will never forget it because it was like one of my first ones and I remember when I did the giveaway, um, I messaged or I commented back to someone who was, uh, Com who had commented on the video and I was like hey you're the giveaway winner winner DM me on Instagram so I can like give you the prize so I got a DM from someone on Instagram and it was not the person who actually won it was like a random person who like created a fake account just so that they could like steal from the giveaway winner I think I was giving like $50 or something like that so now I'm very 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 particular about making sure that the giveaways like actually get to the true winners of the giveaway um just because people are crazy out here so uh, i think that that's the easiest way to do it so make sure you're following me on instagram and make sure that you guys are um like i don't know just like connecting with me there too because i feel like that's such a good way for us to like be friends too i feel like it's so much easier to chat that way too i also answer every single message that i get literally every single one it's not easy but um that's one thing i always told myself i think it's because before i was an influencer i didn't even know like influencing was a thing and i followed like uh, influencer randomly because I was like oh like I like her outfits and I would like message her and she like never re messaged me back and I didn't recognize like how some influencers just like don't respond to messages so I just was kind of like hey what's up like she's like not like messaging me back like it's kind of weird like I thought we were friends and then I kind of figured out that like most influencers not most but a lot of influencers like aren't able to answer because there's so many messages but one thing I told myself was that like if I ever had this as a full-time job, I would answer every single direct message. Now, will I do that forever? I don't know, but uh, that's something I've made a huge priority. It's like a number one priority. But anyway, let's head into this, into this coffee shop. Um, I'm gonna do some work in here and then I have a meeting with my managers and then I think after that, um, we will do this little uh giveaway i also have some editing for a video so i might show you guys some like back end stuff um that i have going on just because i know you guys kind of like to see like the influencer stuff and like what i actually do during my day for work um many of you guys i feel like maybe you know but maybe you don't know like i'm an influencer full-time but like i'm not a booktuber full-time if that makes sense like i share content on tiktok and i share content on instagram but a lot of it is like self-love inspired and i've been trickling in books here and there um and so that's something that i want to continue to add in but most of my like work that i do with brands is not specifically book related um i have worked with some like really cool um businesses like amazon books amazon kindle i've worked with um 
uh, Harlequin books. I've worked with Reese Witherspoon's book club. So I have worked with some like bookish um, like friends, which has really been so, so, so cool. And I'm excited for what this year has to come. So anyway, long chat, but long story long, let's head inside. Um, just, you know, hang out there for a little bit, do some work, and then uh, we will pick who is gonna get uh, these little like gift cards that I'm gonna give out. Date with some of the books I've read, been reading and I also want to um, unbox this little book haul. I am really excited because um, I've been trying to step out to different genres and just like read new things. Luca I feel like is typically like in my typical genre which I'm loving it so good and I actually didn't realize this was a series. One of you guys was like yeah I literally read the whole series and loved it and I and immediately buying the second book, I just feel like this is gonna be so good. I am not like super, super far into it. I'm like 100 pages in. Um, I think I shared that in my last video um, that I was gonna get to 100 pages. One thing about challenges is I swear I read so much more. Like whatever, I am like super, um, I don't know, like, uh, like timing myself or super focused and intentional, I read way more. And then when I'm not like challenging myself, like a specific challenge, I feel like I read a lot less. Um, but I have been stepping into a new genre, which is dark romance, because uh, Sister Christy, she recommended this book, Butcher and Blackbird. I started this this morning and I'm on page like uh, 50, so I'm not super far into it. Y'all, this girl likes to gouge people's eyes out. Like I knew that this book was about two serial killers, but I did not realize that this was gonna be like a graphic book. Like I thought that it would just be like, oh, you know, like in thrillers and like mysteries and stuff, like there might be like a serial killer or something and there's like stuff that happens that they're not like going into detail. No, this book, this goes into detail, <laughs> goes into a lot of detail. I will say the banter is really, really good, which I'm enjoying, but I just don't know if I'm gonna like this. I can see why people do like it because the banter is like so good. Um, but you guys know my favorite trope is friends to lovers, which is literally why I picked this up because on the back it says, the viral friends to lovers, dark romantic comedy full of murder, chaos, and sizzling chemistry. Since every serial killer needs a friend, every game must have a winner. Can Rowan and Sloan dig themselves out of a game of graves or have they finally met their match? So I was just like, this looks like it would be interesting. And whenever Christy was like, you know, are you wanting to step outside your comfort zone? Not this last trip, but the trip before last, she recommended this one. So I was like, okay, I'll read it. And this is the thing. Like, I feel in my heart of hearts that I know what I like. Like, I know what I like, I know what I like, I know what I like. But a lot of the time we'll be like, well, maybe I should try. Like, maybe I should like step out. But it's like, why? Why should I branch out? Like, I love happy, fluffy romances. I love deep romances that make me cry. Like, I love thrillers. I love what I love. And I think last year I tried reading like fantasy and I rated Fourth Wing like a four out of five stars. And then I rated Shatter Me like 3.5 out of five stars which they were good, but still I was like literally grasping at straws because I wanted the romance in that story. Like I, all I cared about was the romance, which is like, I'm a romance girl. Like I'm a lover girl. I've always been a lover girl. So um, I'm encouraging you to like stand 10 toes down and like what you like. If you like books by black authors, if you like diverse reads, if you like romance thrillers, if you like fantasy, if you like dark romance, if you like accidental cannibalism, which is in this book. <laughs> read what you like to read. Like, don't let someone pressure you into reading something different. And I don't think that like, 
there's necessarily like the pressure of like, you know, people being like, I like this, you have to read it. But I think people get so excited that they're like, oh my God, this book is so good. Like you have to pick it up. And so many people have talked about Butcher and Blackbird. So I was like, oh, I need to pick it up. Even though it's outside of my like typical books that I read, it might be a book that I'll really like. And maybe by the end of it, I will like it. I'm not saying that I won't, but I just think that sometimes it's easy to get picked up on the hype when it's like, that book is hyped up, but it's not for you because those aren't the books that you like. <laughs> like, you guys know I don't like a lot of spice. Like, and if it is spice, it has to be like passionate and like so in love and like, you know, crazy devoted to each other kind of thing. And I also don't like controlling men. And like, oh, uh, it's just like, there's a lot of tropes in this book that are not like my kind of vibe. So we'll see how I feel about this. Um, I'm only 50 pages in, I am having an I don't want to say good time, but I'm having an interesting time because there's some things I am enjoying, like the banter is really funny, but also like the gruesomeness of it is a lot. Like my Hallmark little feeble heart just like can't take it. But we're gonna open up this little haul and I think I got two books um, in this haul. I'm not like 100% sure, but <laughs> of course had to open it with you guys because like why not I feel like I always open hauls with you guys and it just like makes the hauls more fun yeah I did get two books in here and the first book is da -da -da! it is keeping 13 this is the second boy book in the boys of Tommen series I love how floppy this is and this is actually on my like the first book is actually on my tbr for february so it's making me really excited and this is the second book this says falling in love was the easy part what comes next is the test um i think the newest book comes out this year there is binding 13 saving six redeeming six taming seven and I feel like there's another one that's coming out. Like, I feel like I could be wrong, but these books are really thick. This is like over 600 pages. And obviously the book is very tall in comparison to a regular size book. So it'll be interesting to see if I like it. I hope that I do, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I've heard that if I like Magnolia Parks or just books that just kind of follow along people's lives, that this is a good series to read. So I'm excited to get into it. The other book I got is a thriller and it's called The Good Lie by A.R. Torre and it says the secrets between them are only getting darker. They're looking for the truth, they're hiding it too. Psychiatrist Dr. Gwen Moore is an expert on killers. She spent a decade treating California's most depraved predators and unlocking their motives. Predators much like the notorious Bloody Heart serial killer whose latest teenage victim, victim escaped and then identified local high school teacher Randall Thompson as his captor. The case against Thompson as the Bloody Heart Killer is is damning and closed as far as Gwen and the media are concerned, concerned if not for one new development. Y'all, I don't curse and that was really hard to have that come out of my mouth. Like, and I, I know that that's not like uh, how the word is being interpreted. Like the word on the back of this is being like, like pretty much like they, their coffins closed. Like, what's the word? Like, like pretty much like they are are like i can't even think of the word you guys know what i'm talking about like they're not using this in like a curse word sense but like it's kind of like when you say like a beaver dam like <laughs> like am i a child i don't know i just i just don't curse so anyway defense attorney robert cabin is still traumatized is a still traumatized father whose own son fell prey to the bh killer convinced of thompson's innocence he steps in to represent him now robert wants gwen to interview the accused create a, a psych profile of the killer and his victims and help clear his client's name as gwen and robert grow closer and she dives deeper into the investigation grave questions arise so does gwen's suspicion that Robert is hiding something and that he might not be the only one with a secret. I can't wait to read this. This is this looks really good. It's also super short. There's only 244 pages, which I feel like is so rare for a thriller. I've actually never read anything from this author, but I've heard that this author is a great thriller author. So I feel like this could be a good book because you guys know how I am. I cannot read like the hyped up book first that the author has. Um, and there's a book, um, it was actually on my TBR for this month, but I like, haven't gotten to it. 
a book by this author um i think like every last secret or something like that and i haven't read it but i feel like this would be a good step into that direction to see if i like the writing especially because it's so short um so yeah i'm going to now that i've shown you the haul and giving you a little review um let's go and send our little messages to our friends i think the way i've decided that i'm gonna do this is i am going to just send out like a little message and send it literally to the most recent people who have like tagged me in their story um, I think that's like like the easiest way to do it and it'll be people who tag me in their story Sharing that they were watching the vlog. I think that's what I'm gonna do So I'm gonna write hi book bestie. I wanted to show you a little love today Thank you for being part of our little YouTube fam and send you a gift card to buy books Uh what do I want to do? Let's do let's do a fifty dollar gift card. I feel like you can't really buy a ton of books with twenty five dollars. Like you'll get like one book. I mean, with fifty dollars, like you really might not get that many either. Um, but I think I'm gonna do it to Barnes so they can like go in and get the own like their own book book ish experience. Thought about doing Amazon, but I don't know. I feel like Barnes is like better because they can go in and get the experience of like shopping and then just like use the card in there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, look through to see who has sent uh, something to, or tagged me in something. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna screen grab my feed, if I can see. Okay, so it looks like I reshared one from Sierra Reed, Sierra. So we're gonna send her a message. Also, like I said, I, um always answer dms so like all of these like tags and stuff i always feel like i don't know it's just nice like being able to actually like answer them as long as like someone tags me in it okay let's scroll back i look a little fluff on my hand let's go back through and make sure i don't miss anything because i always try to reshare them on my feed oh we got one right here from kale in the clouds so i'm gonna tag her Send her a little message. And then let's go back to bookish with G. I'm gonna send her a little, this is fun. Like there's something just so fun about like showing love to all of you. Uh, he books, hi books, uh, her name's Lorena. So I'm gonna tag her. What is that for so far? And then let's go back. Um, MC Public Health. Kaylee. I'm going to send her a message. So all of these friends are going to get um, a little gift card. Someone did tag me in a book rec that I shared. Um, but I want to specifically just do people who tag me in sharing um, that they're watching like the vlog so uh sherry ann <laughs> i message sherry ann like all the time she's so nice like i love like building community with you guys and i feel like one fun way to do that is just through um like dms on instagram okay i don't think i missed any more then we'll do maybe like one more okay we'll do one more noel do one with her Okay, maybe one more, one more, one more. I don't even know how much like we've added up here, guys. Like we're, we're getting, this is pricey. Okay, Michaela's book corner and one more after this and that's the very last one. I'm gonna send her a message and uh, belongs to Ashley. And that is the last message that I am sending. And now let's go through and see how many I sent out, I don't even know. So we sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, now we gotta add one more to do 10. So let's go back in, scroll back. Let's see, where were we? We were down here some. Uh, and also make sure you're following me on Instagram because I feel like you guys get to see another side of me. Like I went out with my friend for her birthday and I shared like going out, like us dancing and stuff. It was like a vibe. 
So someone else shared a book that they um, got because of me. But again, I want to just send um, gift cards to people who like share their screen that they're watching the vlogs. Uh, and maybe in the future I'll do like ones where people have done like book tags. Um, okay, this is the last one, Maya Reads. And I'm gonna send her a message. And there we go. And it looks like I've already gotten some uh, messages back, which is so great. Let's look at those. I try to keep up all my DMs too. It's just like so hard. Um, McKaylee said, oh my God. I'm gonna say, does Barnes work? If so, I'll send that now. Eek. Thank you for being here. Yay. Okay, and then um, Lorena said, hey, really, oh my God, that's way too cute, thanks. Yes, I appreciate you so much for being here. Does Barnes work? So I'll send it now. Yay! And then I think I got one more message back from Noelle. Oh, she like put like the face that's like. <gasps> and then Michaela says, Shaughnessy, you're so kind. I love being part of your book community and community family. Your videos are my, make my day. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're always so kind and I love our messages so much. Does Barnes work? If so, I'll send the gift card now. Yay. All right, so we sent 10 gift cards. Yay, oh my God. It looks like one girl said that she's French, so she might not be able to use Barnes, but um, did I save that? Oh my gosh. Please tell me I saved that video. <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't even know if I saved that video where I just screen recorded everything. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Let's see. I don't know if I saved it. Oh my gosh, I think I accidentally deleted it. Oh no, okay, I did save it. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Cause I was like, what the heck? You guys are gonna be able to see that. But um, yeah, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope you guys will come hang out over on Instagram. It's such a fun place to hang out and TikTok and all the things. Um, but I just love like connecting with you guys in like all the ways. And you can also come and hang out over on the pod too. There's new um, episodes every Friday. So I thought this would be a fun little challenge. And obviously all of them are gonna get $50 gift cards and we times that by 10. So I really love y'all. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye guys.